Hi there. So in this demo, I would love to show off a new feature of Airtable called record templates. Um, so right now you're looking at my hiring pipeline. As you can see, I have amazing candidates in my pipeline. I have 34, which is great. Um, but I really need to prioritize hiring my chief procrastination officer. Um, that's a really big priority for us right now. And I would love to bring smarty pants onto the team. So I'm ready to kick off my onboarding process. And this is a really great example of how record templates can be used within Airtable. So first, how do we set up a record template? So here under tools is where I can access all my record templates. At the top, I can create a new template from scratch, or I can access other templates that have already been created here. So this is my onboarding template that I've made. I'm going to click in and show you around. So in my onboarding template, this is connected to my applicants table and air table. Um, and basically it is a collection of hiring tasks. So things that I need to do as part of the onboarding process in order to get this candidate hired to get them up and running. So here, this is uh, the setup of my template. So I'm able to do a lot of things. I can link it to a new position or an existing position. In this case, I've chosen not to do that because it's, it's more applicant focused. I want these tasks assigned to each applicant as they enter the onboarding. It's not specific to position. So here I have selected some hiring tasks. So I've created new tasks in this template and they are prepared new hire paperwork procure devices and equipment, and set up accounts and create logins. So those are all the tasks that I need to do as the hiring manager to get this applicant up and running. So that is part of my template. That's actually all this is. None of this other information was necessary to my template. So this is what I got, just three hiring tasks that I want to be applied to applicants as they enter the onboarding process. So this is all set up, which is great. I can exit out of this section by clicking this X. And then I wanna take you over to the automation section before I show you how this works. So I've set up an automation that is going to automatically apply that record template that I just demoed um, when a certain trigger happens. So this is how I've laid out that automation. So my trigger is when a record matches a condition and the condition is, well, first of all, it's connecting to, again, that applicants table. So back in that database, it's connecting here. So when that trigger happens within this table, the automation is going to kick off. And then my condition is when the application stage is ready for onboarding. Amazing. So I've already tested this. It was successful. So anytime an application stage of any of my applicants changes to ready for onboarding, it is then as the action part of my automation going to update my record. Again, it's connected to that applicant's table, the same as my trigger. And it's going to update the record from a template. And I'm pulling in that onboarding template that I've created. So that's great. I have already tested this and it was successful. So I know my automation is up and running. So now going back to my database, I'm going to come here to Smarty Pants, which again is the candidate that I really want to start the onboarding process for. So here in my application stage column, um, you can see the status is currently employment agreement. But if I click that ready for onboarding stage, that's going to trigger my automation. So I just want to show you what is exactly going to happen in this view when I do that. So I scroll all the way to the right. And I have this field for hiring tasks. So right now you can see there's nothing here. Um, because there are no hiring tasks associated with this applicant, but I do want there to be. When I click ready for onboarding, those three tasks from that record template should uh, populate in this field. 
So let's test it out. Going to my application stage field for Smarty Pants, and I'm going to change this stage to ready for onboarding. And as you can see, my hiring tasks have automatically populated based on that record template. So now I know exactly what I have to do to continue this onboarding process. So that is just one example, a great example of how you can be using record templates in your Airtable usage.